Last time on Taste ATL the series. Hey Marley. It's Marley. Those Atlanta girls are going to eat your life. You and sweetie can have whatever you'd like. My friends and I are going out tonight and I think you should come. Dance off some of that stress. I, I, I got 32 flavors, baby, take your pick. Need a real big spender, no counterfeit. I've never seen anything like this. What happened, Molly? <laughs> Cat got your tongue? I see my crew over by the bar. Let me introduce you. Here's Erica. That's her girlfriend, T. Erica don't play about her. T and Joe have history, so you know how that goes. That I do, do you feel the way that I do? I think I like you. Could you ever fall? Joe, Joe's just Joe. You survived the day. Mm -hmm. You're more legit than you think. Mm -hmm. Thanks, CJ. I really need you to hear that. Sticky, sticky, icky, icky, trick or treat. This is Atlanta. The way to right wrongs is to turn the light of truth upon them. Okay, y'all, welcome back. Make sure you like. Make sure you press share so all your nosy ass friends can know that mm. we spilling all the tea, okay? okay. This is the part of the show I love the most. This is the communal what? Communal tea. tea. Okay. This is when y'all get the chance to, you know, send us all y'all business and let us air it out. Mm -hmm. And then you can ask us questions and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we got a letter in the mail. Uh, in the mail? In the mail, bitch. Uh -uh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on. Give it the times. Okay. Okay, come on. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, anyway. Let's get it. This one is titled. Am I tripping? It reads, Dear Community, I have been with my partner Troy for two years. Mm -hmm. I have recently came across some boxes from his old apartment with hotel receipts that date back to the beginning of our relationship. Okay, receipts? <laughs> mm -mm. The second month to be exact. The issue is the hotel stay was not with me. The dates go back to when he said he was out of town with his mama. I don't know if I should confront him, Things are just, you know, things have just been going so good lately and I don't want to fuck it up, you know, by holding on to the past. What should I do? Can y'all please help me? Vaughn. Mm. Girl. Okay, listen, Vaughn. Don't go snooping and searching through your man's shit if you ain't ready to address what you find, okay? Period. But now since you done found yourself some dirt, I say you confront that ass. Clearly his ass been lying and you deserve some answers, uh -uh. okay? Go on and get him. Mm, friend, sis. What? I don't know about that. The fuck? I mean, he said they was only two months in. Oh, what's your point? Okay, two months. Bitch, two weeks. If I two weeks, let's try to start at two months. If I was judged on what I did, two months in, three months in. In my case, bitch, nine months in. Do you know how many relationships I've been in? None. <laughs> that's just too early, girl. You don't know nothing about him. Great shit. It's, you know, at the beginning of a relationship, that's what I like to call the 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 the. Like trial and error test phase. Trial and error, but. Buffering. Buffering. Yes. The little wheel. Spell no. buffering. I be buffering my ass from one dick to the next dick, bitch. I got to get, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just got to. I just got to. It's too early. I don't know if I want to get married with you yet, yeah, bitch. You don't know if your credit good. You know what I'm saying? You fix the car yet? No, mommy, I don't get paid until Friday. I don't necessarily like you driving around like that in a Mali. I know, mommy, but I... I'm not feeling too well lately. What's wrong now? You know, the pressure, the head, the chest. Plus, I'm dying from loneliness. You need to come take care of your mother. 
You're not dying, mommy. Stop being so dramatic. Hold on. Someone's called. Wait, hold on one second. I'll be right back. One second. Do not call in me back. Later. Hello. Hi, beautiful. Hi, yourself. That's my favorite transplant. Doing pretty well, thanks to her favorite cheerleader. Cheerleader? Hell nah. It's not like I got pom-poms in the skirt. Mm-mm. Don't you? Not when the sun's out. Listen. We got off to a pretty heavy foot, but... <laughs> yeah, it was heavy, all right. Wanted to know if I could take y'all on a proper date. Oh, a proper date? So, you know, that comes with flowers and things of that nature, right? Only if you're good. Sounds tempting. I mean... Wait till I see you again. I'll make it more tempting. Well, if you keep your hands off me, girl. We may have to do a rain check on that one. What? Rain check? Now, what does Miss Marley Cook have to do? That's more important than me. I get you this wool here and all, but... Hold on. I'm gonna have to call you right back, okay? Right back. I hate playing this game. I swear I do. I swear I always lose. Uh, I don't wanna get my hopes up. I put my pride aside, hoping that you show love. I think we rush. Need to slow up. There's so much work discussing, let me show ya. We both scared. I know you know the set, know the set, know the set. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hey, hey, listen. This is Joe with the Joe. How can I help you? Hey, I've been back on my shit, my shit, my shit. Last time that I checked, you the one that I supposed to be with, be with. Hey, Joe Smo. What's up, CC? What's up, what's up, what's up? You want your use? You know it. Mm-hmm, I got you, girl. Hold on. Appreciate it. Here you go. Taste was crazy last Saturday, huh? You tell me. You know better than I do. Yeah, I saw you did the hour early. Left me clean up all your dirty work. Oh, word. Dirty work? Ooh. You couldn't wait to hop your ass in from what I hear? Mm -hmm. I'm over it. Anyway, so we talked. We're good. Everything's cool. Well, I might have hopped in the wrong damn pool. Oh, shit, CJ. What you do now? Me? Nah. She was tripping. Mm -hmm. We might have hooked up on some drunk shit, but I try to come correct. Mm -hmm. Joe. I try to do the right thing. Ask her on a real date, and she fucking played me. Your definition of being played hardly ever qualifies. I know you. The thing is, CJ can't seem to understand she is not God's gift. If a woman doesn't respond exactly how she wants, it's game over. Or in this case, game on. Hey. hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, how can I help you? Can I have a fruit punch, no ice, please? Mm-hmm. How you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. No receipt, right? No, I'm good. All right, cool. Thank you so much. No problem, have a good day. Mm-hmm. Nah, she tried to say she need to get her shit together. Who don't need to get their shit together? Lay off that girl. She did just move from a whole nother state. Did you forget what that's like, Nebraska? Wow. Mm-hmm. I know you think you big shit now because you got all the little baby dykes feeling. But grow up. People got more priorities outside of you. Well, I don't wait for these hoes. If anything, so it was way for me. You really ain't shit. I hope you know that. I don't put I'll see that.
baby? What you think? Does it look good? Does everything look good? It looks perfect, baby. Just like you. Mm. Oh my god, the potato wedges! Shit! Shit, 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 shit. I fucked up the potato wedges. How are you gonna fuck up frozen potato wedges? Baby, it's okay. It looks good. Mm, fuck the potato wedges. <laughs> Thank you, babe. It's just. This is our first time hosting in our apartment. I want everything to be just perfect. I know, and everything will be great. Trust me. Just keep that dress on so I can see that ass jiggle. <laughs> This is designer. We all know, baby, I wear nothing but designer, okay? Cut it out. This is Givenchy. Can you oh, spell that? Cut it out. G. -I -B. Actually, it's Givenchy. Oh. Okay. So extra. Keep up, baby. Girl, shut up. It's your problem now you do too much. You know, you got a little coin, girl. Just do a little less. Uh, don't hate. Erin, <laughs> that is a really nice dress. Marley, isn't that a cute dress? It's so cute. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty. Thank you so much. I actually got it from that mall, um, Greenbrier Mall. Yeah, they have a whole bunch of dresses and they're super cheap. Too and hard. Super, too hard. Let's, let's get you a drink, mm. please. Yeah. Okay. Get you a bit more. So, Marley, how are you liking Atlanta? How's the new job? I'm loving it. I just got an internship, so I'm like normally always busy. I mean, that's good. Yeah. Have you found anybody yet? You dating? Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm taking things slow for now. She's getting her things together. Don't have time to go on dates, Erica. Well, maybe she just doesn't have any time to go on a date with you, okay. CJ. <laughs> Bro, get your girl. Get your, get your girl. Oh, girl. Okay. Uh, chill. Just play. I don't know. <laughs> Shit, I be getting naggy by the things that you say. Shit, I be getting naggy by the things that you say. Getting turned on by the silly little games that you play. I better fight. Yeah, I better fight that you're gonna make my sign come out when we out. It's just a cool ass vibe. We doubt the negativity. Belt that life stage right before the stage. I belt that. Oh, Lord, bitch. Do we have a choice? <laughs> no, bitch, you don't. Okay. <laughs> this is the sex location edition. Ooh. Wait. Wait, what's, what's I ain't never? 
Never have I ever, but you know, if you haven't done shit, you take a shot. Like, I ain't never did shit. No. Basically, we about to be fucked up. No, okay. Okay. I ain't never. The opposite of never have I ever, where you drink if you ain't never did that shit. Designed to give the inexperienced a little motivation to get experience. Basically, they about to get fucked up. All right, all right, I'll start. Um, I ain't never had sex in the kitchen. Oh. Hey. Uh, <laughs> oh, y'all get one. Uh-uh. Oh. I never did that. I'm too classy for oh. that, okay? Oh my God. <laughs> We all see y'all. Get a room or something. Nigga, this is our house now. So, you know, we got to christen all the rooms. Mm -hmm. As long as no one's christening these damn wings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joe Bear, it's your turn. Okay. I ain't never did it in a car. <laughs> Come on, girl. Now, now you know. Watch out, play. Oh, look. Little Miss Markley, I didn't think you had it in you. Guess you do have a little wild side. Okay, Rain, that's enough. What? I'm just saying that she don't look like the type. Damn, CJ, you don't always have to defend her. Enough. The fuck? That's yeah. enough. All right, all right, all right. My turn. I ain't never got freaky on no plane. Mm -hmm. Shit. Ugh. Damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> I always wanted to be a part of the Mile High Club. Mm. Maybe in the future. Maybe, babe. Ugh. Of course y'all did. Huh? Oh. It was forever ago. Like, really. Yeah, trust me, baby. It was nothing. Trust me. Well, bitch, wait a minute. I just want to know, how the hell does the Mile High Club work for lesbians? Uh-uh, wait. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Don't start. Did you have time to go through all the bows and stuff? Okay. Like that? No, okay. Oh, what? No. Oh, no. Oh, oh, shut up. Right? Uh, seriously? Okay. Seriously, like, oh, shut up. So much. It was a quick flight to Orlando, like, almost two years ago. Let's not make a whole thing of it. Orlando? You said the only time you went there was for the ACA conference. Yeah, that's when I was there. That was last spring, not two years ago. Three months after we started dating. Are you shitting me? What the fuck, Terraline? Erica! Well, guess the party's over. Oh, you guys are so cool. Thank you for inviting That's me. Sweetheart, let's, let's get you out of here. Bye, CJ. Marley, wait. Marley. Where's your plus one? I put her in the Uber. Hmm, classy. I'm sorry about all that back there with her. At least you know I got your back when it comes to rain. You know, she's right. I don't need you defending me. And then you bringing that girl to the party tonight is just straight weird. One minute you're asking me out, and the next minute you're bringing another girl to a party that I'm at? I mean, technically. I didn't 100% know you were going to be here. You knew I was going to be here. Stop. You texted me earlier asking, was I coming? OK. You're right. I'm sorry. It's just, I like you. And I tried to take you out. But when you rejected me, I guess, I guess I panicked. I never rejected you. I don't know. I guess I thought if you saw me with her, you would take me more serious. I, I, I don't know. You know that's sick, right? I already wanted you. So, no. Is that a yes? Yes, what? Yes, you go out with me? Yes, I'll go out with you.
always has, folks, look into this mirror and have an affirmation. Absolutely. Okay, so. <clears throat> Sister, tonight we're gonna do two bomb shows here in Chicago and keep spreading the love and the black girl magic and just the black magic in general. And I will be able to do that even better knowing that my baby here is his lady. I can't believe this whole time you lied to me. Erica, this entire baby. relationship was built on lies. Men is fucking awesome. Erica, can you please just calm down so we can talk? Listen to me. Bro, where are you going? I'm going to Reigns because if I stay here, I swear to God, I don't know what I'll do to you. And you want to know the worst part? I remember that weekend. And I was so fucking stupid to welcome you home with my little fucking lingerie and the cooking and the shit that I did for you. Yeah. Come to find out you're having a fucking mile high freak weekend with your ex. Baby, listen to me. Please, I know how this looks. I know how this looks. Just listen to me. What, T? That weekend with Joe was the very last time her and I had anything going on. I promise to you. <laughs> you just got to understand, things with you and I were just fresh and new, and she was just familiar. I'm sorry. You and Joe have so much history, Terrelene. You have done everything with her. What's left for us? Baby, I promise to you, there is nothing with me and Joe anymore. Even that weekend was just spur of the moment. Baby, my heart is with you. I love you. T, why would you lie to me? Baby, I'm sorry. If I could do it 10 times over with you any day, I would. I promise you. I'm sorry. As if a breakup isn't hard enough, it strikes a nerve when your ex dates someone who is nothing like you. In fact, the exact opposite. It makes you wonder, maybe a part of them is leaving that space for you. Hey, you've been packed today, this is cute. Okay. Right. Okay. No, for real, I can't see, can you see? Yeah, I can see what you want. I just want some fries. Hello. Hello. Oh, how you doing? I'm great. How are you? Good. Can I get a number six? <laughs> what the side of that dude? <laughs> Can I please? Thank you. 